How cute are these sunglasses, first of all? The only reason I bought these sunglasses was because I had just finished watching Prince's Diaries and I don't know if it was in the movie or in like the movie poster where she was wearing these but as soon as I saw them I was like I need those in my life. I don't care how they look on me, I need those sunglasses. I know, I know, I know that I say this in every single video but I haven't been this excited ever. Literally ever. I have literally been counting down the days to the day where I could come to the bookstore and get all the books That's what today is. I'm gonna be getting so many books today Hopefully I don't want to jinx myself and then like go in there and find nothing that I like But this video is gonna be a bookstore vlog and it's also gonna be kind of like a reading wrap-up I've been reading not that many books But I have been reading some really really great books that I do want to recommend them to you guys And I do want to like rant about them and talk about them So the first half of this video will be a bookstore vlog second half will be like a book recommendations I do want to share with you guys the list of books. So this is like kind of of my idea of the books I want to get who knows what I'm gonna end up with but these are the ones that I kind of think I want to get I want to get the new Lucy score book the new dreamland series book the book called icebreaker which I heard is a really cute rom-com the thriller that I think is called rock paper scissors I'm not totally sure I know the cover of it I think it's that one Magnolia Parks I also think I want to get that one and I just saw this one a couple days ago but it's called Park Avenue summer and I actually heard Park Avenue summer is supposed to be really really similar to Daisy Jones and the six that's kind of my list but like I said I don't know what I'm gonna end up with I'm just so excited and I just want to be in there, so let's go. best day of my life. I found almost every single book that I wanted except one and that kind of was the one that I was like the most excited about. The one called Park Avenue Summer. Let's do a quick little book haul. I'm pretty sure I got the last one of this book right here but I got Icebreaker. Comment down below if you guys have read any of these books at all. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Hopefully they're good because I already bought them but this is the first book. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. It's actually a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be but I'm excited. So we got Final Offer. This is the third and last book, I'm pretty sure, in the Dreamland series. I've heard so many mixed reviews about this book, which I'm kind of like really nervous about, but I honestly loved Terms and Conditions. Absolutely love that book. The first one, which is fine print, that one was like okay to me. It wasn't anything crazy, but I'm hoping that this one is super good. She's a thick one though. There's a lot of pages in there. Okay, this is her bigger bag. Here we go. Okay, so excited about this book. I got Rock, Paper, Scissors. That was the name of it. This one is a thriller. I read at the back of it and it says 10 years of marriage, 10 years of secrets, and an anniversary they will never forget. It's a thriller about like this couple. They go on a trip, I'm guessing the snow, since there's like snow on the cover, and everything goes wrong or something like that. I don't know, but I'm super excited about this one. Rock, Paper, Scissors. Another one that I'm so excited about. I'm pretty sure this is the book that I'm gonna start today. This is Magnolia Parks. I am so late. To the game with this book. I feel like everybody's already read it or already has an opinion about it. Even the cover is so interesting. But yeah, this is Magnolia Parks. In the back, it says, how many loves do you get in a lifetime? I don't know, but we'll find out. This is Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. If you've watched some of my recent book recommendation videos, you know that I read Things We Never Got Over last year and it was one of my favorite reads of the year. Such a good book. And this is book two in that series. Okay, and last book that I got, I made it seem like I got like 20 books. This is the last one. This one's the one that I didn't have on my list. I just saw it and I've been meaning to get it, meaning to read it. I haven't heard too much about it, but from what I read in the back, it sounds like it's gonna be a good time. This one's called Hooked. I'm pretty sure it's a dark romance. 
type of book. Basically, James is trying to get revenge and Wendy is the daughter of the guy that he's trying to get the revenge. I don't know. I don't need to know too much about it. Earlier today, I saw this quote where it was like, treat yourself for just being alive. And honestly, I didn't think I need any more convincing to treat myself, but I saw that and I'm like, you know what? Today's gonna be a treat yourself kind of day, even though I feel like I have way too many of those. But since it's still kind of early and I really wanna go and read one of my books somewhere, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. I've been obsessed with coffee shops lately and I'm gonna start my new book, Magnolia Parks. Please comment down below if you guys have read any of the books I just bought and tell me if you guys enjoyed them or not. Okay, let's go get some coffee. In the span of like three days, I became a coffee shop girl. Like I used to not be able to go to a coffee shop and get things done. Like I used to always get so distracted or I was just on my phone or whatever it was. But all of a sudden, I'm a coffee shop girl. Like I don't care what's going on around me. As long as I got my headphones, either my laptop to do some work or a book to read, I'm good to go. For the past week, all I've been listening to is the Daisy Jones and the Six album. Absolutely obsessed with the show so far. And the songs are actually really good. And I've been listening to the album. The songs Regret Me and Look At Us Now, nonstop. Like just again and again and again. I think they're so good. pretty sure you guys are gonna be able to hear the rain because it's raining really really hard right now but I hope that adds to like the cozy feeling and it's not annoying so like you guys saw I started Magnolia Parks I'm only on page 89 chapter 10 but so far I'm absolutely obsessed with this book every single thing that these two characters do to each other is toxic but it is so entertaining and it's so interesting so so far I'm really really enjoying this book also quick little side note I was using my shark like flex style hair tool right now and I don't know what happened but all of my power went out so that's something I'm gonna have to figure out after I film this part there's only six books that I'm gonna talk about right now so I have little categories for them first two books are five star reads other two books are thriller books and the last two books are in the rom-com category I guess it's only right to start with the five star reads okay let's start it off with the one that I just read last week. This was the last book I read before I started Magnolia Parks and that is Before We Were Strangers. This book was so incredibly good. This book also inspired me to make a part two to books that made me believe in soulmates because these two characters are just that. Like they are soulmates through and through. This book is a second chance romance about Matt and Grace. The first half of the book is them meeting in college and you get to see how in one year they fell in love with each other. Just pretty much what you expect a soulmate's love story to look like. That's what their story was in college. For some reason after that one year in college they kind of go their separate ways and don't talk and don't know of each other for 15 years and they don't run into each other until 15 years later in the sub way in New York City. If you simply just need a good read regardless of anything else you don't even have to be a romance lover I feel like I'd recommend this book to pretty much anyone because the story itself is just so beautiful and it's so good. I could make a whole entire video just ranting and talking and saying how much I love this book but yeah this is a super super great book. Five stars out of five. Okay, next five star read is this one right here. This is actually a series. There's five books in here, but I'm so glad they made it one book because this is like 600 pages. So it's pretty much just one really long book, but this is the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abbey. So the story pretty much covers Lena's story. Pretty much when she was a teenager, this town that she lived in, the people in that town, did really, really horrible things to her and her family. And they pretty much murdered her family and she was the only survivor. So for like 10 years, she's been planning this revenge to get back at those people that murdered her family. So like I said, she's been planning this revenge for 10 years, so she's planned every single detail out, so it works perfectly. But what she did not plan on happening, and the little twist that's added to the story, is that she is gonna fall in love with Logan. And Logan is not just a regular dude that she meets walking down the street. He is actually an FBI profiler. He doesn't just casually work for the FBI. He is the person and the man in charge of her case. 
So I know it sounds just a tiny bit cliche, but once you get wrapped into the story, it is crazy. There's a lot of twists and a lot of turns to it, and it's just... It's a whole experience, I would say. This whole series right here is a whole experience. Okay, now moving on to thrillers. These are the two thriller books that I enjoyed recently. One of these I enjoyed more than the other. Let's start with this one really quick. This is The Woman in the Window. I picked this up in December and I think I read it in January. I heard amazing things about this book before reading it. Like just crazy reviews, people saying that they were like in awe of this book. And even though it might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion, I feel like this book was a little tiny bit tiny tiny bit underwhelming. I just expected my mind to be absolutely blown by the plot twist and just like everything that was going to happen and even though you do get like a big revelation at the end it was still a little bit underwhelming I'm not gonna lie. But basically this book is exactly what the cover tells you the woman in the window basically about a woman that went through these really traumatic events and she developed a phobia that I've actually never heard about but it was really interesting to read but it's a phobia of pretty much going outside or being like in the outside world. She used to be a really really successful psychiatrist but she's home now all the time so that leads her to kind of like spy on her neighbors she lives in new york city so she's got a lot to see a lot of people around her so for a lot of time during the day she'll just be outside her window it's kind of creepy when you think about it she stands at her window and kind of like sees her neighbors and their lives and like pretty much everybody just living their lives while she's kind of feeling stuck in hers she sees things that she's probably not supposed to and then that leads her on this whole other thing of getting involved in something she wasn't supposed to get involved and i would say it's a pretty enjoyable book i think the only reason that i wasn't like absolutely obsessed with it was because because the ending was just a little bit underwhelming. I was just like at the edge of my seat the whole time. I read this really fast. And then after the ending, I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Next thriller, this is a good one. This is The Perfect Marriage. As soon as I finished this book, I put it on my Instagram story. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me on there because even though I don't make book recommendations videos, often every single book that I finish that I really enjoy I put it on my Instagram story and share like a little comment about it but yeah this book was so incredibly good if you guys are looking for a good thriller that will literally have you at the edge of your seat I'm not even kidding the whole part of it is so enjoyable the ending I was like what is happening what is literally happening I was so invested in it this book takes you through a whole roller coaster of like trying to figure it out like trying to figure out who did it so badly and then you get to the ending and you're just like holy shit like that was really good this is about a married couple they've been married for 10 years the girl in the marriage is like a super girl boss she's one of the most successful or the most successful criminal lawyer in her area and while she's being a girl boss and doing her thing her husband is actually having an affair and basically the whole storyline starts when the mistress is found dead in their lake house the husband swears he didn't do it he swears he like left the lake house he wasn't there when that happened but the husband is the main suspect so then the wife has to find everything out at the same time one one, that her husband was having an affair two that the mistress was murdered three that the main suspect is her husband and four that she is the only criminal lawyer person that could actually get him out of jail if she wanted to every single word that one of the characters says you're trying to like hold on to it and try to analyze it and try to see like who's suspicious who's not who did it who didn't i cannot recommend this enough it is such a fun read seriously five stars my last category is the rom-com category and i have two super cute super pink books right here. This is By a Thread and this is Made in Manhattan. Both of these equally as enjoyable. I loved both of them so 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 much. This one I feel like I have to rant about because I haven't heard one single soul talk about this book so I feel like it's definitely underrated but just look at the cover. Look at the name, look at the cover. This screams perfect rom-com. If I was going to rate this book among other rom-coms, like just rom-coms we're talking about, it would definitely 100% be a five-star read. Can't wait to read more of this author, Lauren Lane. It's also such a quick read. Pretty much this book is about this girl. She's super sophisticated. She's really rich. She lives in Manhattan. She's really proper. She wears headbands and pearls, the whole thing. Her name is Violet, but she's pretty much Blair Waldorf. Violet has a family friend that she sees as a grandmother and that family friend asks her to do her a favor involving Kane. Kane is a guy that comes from Louisiana and he's literally the exact opposite of what Violet is. Pretty much the whole thing of like two different worlds collide, opposites attract, that whole thing. It's honestly such a perfect rom-com. Everything you want a rom-com to be, this book is it. I'm not even kidding. It's so good. And lastly, By a Thread by Lucy Score. It's grumpy sunshine, enemies to lovers, close proximity, workplace romance is the whole thing. If you're looking for something like that with a little bit of spice added onto it, this book is so good. So, so good. I'm gonna go get some lunch and I'm gonna enjoy this cloudy, rainy day and continue reading more of my book, Magnolia Parks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!